So keep that in the mind there. That's coming up. It should be quite an exciting What's time. What's the date? Into there. I want to go. Where's the date? Uh, make sure to register at start.gg slash rdw. All right, off of here. We'll, we'll pull that up so we can actually get you guys the, as well. All right, here we moment. are. Losers finals, 34 versus Kashmir. Like I said, it was previously, but before this tournament started, 34 had a 1-0 lead on Kashmir. Now we are back to it being even. This is kind of the, the breaker for these yeah. two. Uh, but everything has been Woo! like a game five. I haven't seen Kashmir get one of those since we started the top split, actually. With the uh, up tilt? The little sure you can. They're so darn satisfying. You get right up on top of someone. But in the last match between these two, Kashmir's having a really hard time getting on top of 34. Because 34 did a great job of zoning out. And that's exactly what you want as Olimar. They now have a bit of a hill to climb back up, though. They have 1% on this stock already. It just, just sits there. I'm going to just keep up air. There's nothing you can do. Into the down airs as well. Kind of just throws them out because he can. And he's like, here's the down air. I'm going to like jab this time. Just going to like pick it up. I never know like what Kashmir is going to do in these more scrappy situations. Um, it's not as telegraphed as you might think. Wow. Oh, okay. Not quite killing here once again. But the top of that forward air is a pretty nasty hitbox. Kazmir here going low and coming right back up. He's going to land on uh, back air right there. And another one to boot. He's starting to run away with this. Really taking it to 34. It's so quick on the sticks. I, I know. Nobody does it better. So quick on the sticks. Up smash going to be coming through. Say, Go with them. They may. <laughs> <laughs> Just something to chew on there. <laughs> Down throw again, going to be putting 34 into a bit of a rough situation. Uh, and there's the Pikmin on deck. And we've mentioned previously that Mega Man just has trouble killing Pikmin in general, especially the purple ones. And Kashmir has started just down airing them whenever they present themselves. Just stops playing neutral, down airs the purple Pikmin. The Rocket Fist of Rage. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I don't care whatever you're doing, 34. Your, your Pikmin, they're, they're going to be gone. Look, every yeah, time. Yeah, I like that. He's just got to put an end to it. And that's really, I think, attributing to a lot of his success. He's had some time to ruminate and think about this matchup, knowing that 34 is going to be a definite threat. Coming back, he's able to win it before, but he's got to make sure that this one will go his way so he can get back into grand finals. Yeah, it's the Casimir with infinite prep time. <laughs> <laughs> Always takes the win. <laughs> well, it's definitely not finished yet. He's got pretty close to this last stock. It's not too hard to kill on Olimar. He's pretty lightweight, but you do have to get in, and 34 is making it difficult. You're not quite landing it, even after the red lightning or this forward air. It's not gonna purple. Yep, explosion there, crash bomber, making sure that the entry back to ledge is going to be safe, but a throw finishes this one. Well, even without the blue pick, that's just going to kill. Um, similar to Olimar, McMahon, a little bit on the lighter side. He's cute, though, so we'll let it pass. It's okay. You can get away with it. He's just a silly He's all right. Guy. He's a little dude. Oh, 34 Ooh. eating another back air. Not going to be taking uh, their oh, stock with the crash bomb. Projectiles. Is coming through. Kesmer just really, really wants it. Out from her blood, smells it in the water. Oh, Kesmer didn't quite drop from the back here, though. That's what I was really expecting, but it doesn't take it very long for him to find it here. Just on 68% on that last stock, he's still feeling pretty confident there, especially after coming out swinging so hard at the beginning of that game. <laughs> Not even happy. Kesmer's never happy. Sure to vibe. That's the kind yeah. of like the that's kind of what I get from the demeanor. Is you're here for the competition, really fundamentally. Yeah. Just here to vibe. All right. Well, 1-0 so far. I think we're gonna have a slog on our hands. Yeah, I would not be surprised if these are buzzer beaters, slugfests going to the end till we finish out here at Invincible Six. All right. I think this is Smashville this time, and KK Slider is here to greet us, as always. Oh, my little buddy. Bunch of little dudes on screen. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a wholesome little top four. <laughs> Bunch of buddies. That it is, isn't it? It really is. That's kind of funny. Oh, that forward smash is going to find this mark once again. This is 34 actually was falling susceptible to as we got to the bottom end of their last matchup. So that's something that they have to keep their eye on because it's really big for Gadamir to just slam on that much damage in one go. Of the punish uh, for the up smash is just a little pellet. Ah. Like, stop that. <laughs> I don't even think it was true, pellet in the grab. <laughs> 34 was just so taken aback. It's like, okay, ah. all right, I'll ah. give it to you. Okay. My bad. 
Oh, well, I gotta be careful with that one. 34 now is doing a really good job of keeping a hold of that purple Pikmin. Actually using it pretty seldom, making sure that's not getting disconnected. Just so that they know they have it when it comes time to try and find the skill. Especially with Kazmir still sitting on 130%. But it's going to have to go by the wayside. This time, they throw out the blue Pikmin. And they don't have the option for a regrab as a punish. Because they just don't have any left. Well, that fair just going to be hitting right behind Kazmir. Oh, staying just out of range. <laughs> that is a man who has played against all of our before. <laughs> I know exactly how far you're throwing. Yep. And the blue one does have a little bit extra range, so it makes it extra scary. The tech isn't going to save 34 right there, so they lose the first stock of this game. Oh, the back air just evens it out very quickly here. And like I was saying, we're in for a bit of a slog. It's 34 and Kashmir very good about adapting to each other. Nice little juggle there for a neat 60%. And it's going to keep going. 34 keeping up the pressure. Woo! Woo! Narrowly missing out on a kill right there. Just takes a couple more percent and another go at a purple Pikmin doing his job well. There it you is. You earned your bloom, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, they actually get a bloom. Uh, I don't not, know not for bloom. killing, just over time. But I think he oh, dies. Cute. I mean, he just uh, got rocket punched. <laughs> <laughs> they both did. Gone now. It's brutal. It's like they're playing neutral. It's nice and cute. And then all of a sudden, just like the the, the, the souls punch being the ground, released into the world. Yeah. A little ghost flying. Up. Oh, no. Yeah, there's three of them right there. And Mega Man shows no mercy to the Pikmin. Oh, he's looking for the fist once again. This one's aimed at Olimar, though not just the Pikmin. A lot scarier. Interesting note. Kashmir has not been going for crash bomb setups to, into spikes against 34 at all. I think that's kind of a uh, usual bread and butter for Kashmir's play. Uh, but it seems that the, the potential for aggressiveness from Pikmin has kind of moved him away from that. Just stay safe, just stay on ledge, don't kind of go anywhere else. It's not worth it. Grab right there, trying to go up higher there. As 34 is then on the platform, it makes it pretty easy actually to pressure from below. That's a nice option for our Kazmir there, but he takes a big hit. Holding on to this last stock, it's not, oh, not a spike hitbox. So he gets to hang on just a little bit longer, but the pressure's still there. Purple Pikmin's still on deck for the down air that we love so much. Wow, going to be using Crash Bomb to, get to defuse the hitbox from the Purple Pikmin and Kind of does a re Uno reversal oh. on the 34 as you find himself on the other side of the... He's stage. just ready for it. It doesn't quite land there. It doesn't quite kill across the map with those weaker hit from the back. Yeah, that's a nice move from 34, taking up some distance and heading over to the other side of stage. Yeah, perfect usage of that long recovery. Could be needing a forward smash, though. Like I said, Kashmir will just throw out moves. You never know what Kashmir is going to be using. Oh, uh, oh no! That grab wow, didn't that's, uh, quite hit there. That was really close. I think barely got spot dodged before it could actually land on 34. So it gets 34. That's first game for themselves, evening things up. That was good. It's pretty convincing. 34 wants to go the extra mile. Yeah. So another thing to address right there with 34 playing really aggressively against Kashmir, getting a lot of success for it. Smashville was a really good counter pick. While that center platform does make it easy for Kashmir to put a bunch of shield pressure on. He didn't actually find a lot of opportunities to do so because 34 was constantly forcing engagements. Yeah, 34 recognizes he needs to be in Kashmir's face as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to let you get set up. I'm not going to let you just throw projectiles at me. You're going to be meeting my Pikmin face to face. Which kind of like tells, tells Kashmir the names one by one. <laughs> so imagine naming every Pikmin that you just pick up. If you just like had such a fast brain that you could name them all. <laughs> like, go Jeff. What if you call them out every time one of them I, died? Did. I feel like that like did psychic damage on I your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, you shed like, a tear for each Pikmin. Yeah, you're killing people. These are my children. Okay. How dare you? I'm sure there are people that refuse to play against any Olimars. They don't want to harm the Pikmin. Aww. I know. That's wholesome. Yeah. I hope they live good life. Nice. They just don't make it far in bracket. <laughs> oh my god, I love that right there. 34 gets hit with this, oh, the Crash Bomber. Immediately beelines it over to Kazmir and just uses a shielded Crash Bomber explosion as a weapon. Actually got a combo off of it. I love how Kazmir just waits for the timing perfectly for every single Crash Bomb. Goes, All right, I'm going to wait. I'm going to get the optimal punish off of this. I know every single timing. A little sticky bomb on you, and I'll, I'll be over here for the next six and a half seconds. Don't mind me. Hey, look at this. They're just using. Look at that. Ready. Woo! Just instantly ready. Dude. Exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly the kind of gameplay I remember from seeing Kazmir back in the day. That's exactly what I want. Ready for the, the setup before it even happens, before 34 even knows what they are in tune for. A little bit of a yeah, or a white Pikmin. Sorry, gonna be stuck. Yeah, on. this one's doing a lot of DOT. So they cling on. Like Forty. 
Yeah, they're pretty nasty. You really, you really have to disperse the white Pikmin or they will wreck havoc. We haven't seen a ton of action from them, and Kesper has been doing a good job of keeping uh, Pikmin off of them. So they haven't been in the limelight, but I love the white Pikmin. That might be my favorite, actually. Another down air going to be destroying the live of yet another purple Pikmin, and the grab comes through. Not going to be quite killing, but that is such a dirty angle. It's always those, like, uh, little diagonal ones that are yeah. up. I love that short hop Leaf Blade, and he's going to keep it going here. Kazmir from Land and another Leaf Blade. He's got to pull off here, though, using his second jump in order to back here. The rest of those Pikmin away. Got to deal with that. Got to mitigate all that damage over time that he's been taking, and he really doesn't stumble in his stride they're finding a kill with another back there and putting on massive shield pressure it goes for the deep recovery oh. punish here and 34 just kind of stuck not able to do too much in those positions has been using these purple pikmin very effectively off stage however to punish cashmere's recovery okay even up the stocks here and finding good damage there that up till into back air i think twice and Casimir now has that 70 percent on him and he's having a hard time mitigating the Pikmin just like he was before. They're getting a lot more damage down there. Goes out for the purple Pikmin as he's just playing this economy game. Yeah, 34 realizes every time that Casimir gets up and goes to kill a purple Pikmin, and they can just grab another one, right? Mm -hmm. And keep throwing them and making Casimir spend more and more time. Um, not necessarily running the clock because both players have been a bit aggressive with how they want to play, um, but it, not letting Casimir breathe for sure. Casimir got through all the rest of them, and 34 with one purple Pikmin was happy to play. <laughs> <laughs> Plays a home run challenge, swinging that guy around, looking for that kill, especially once we're up in those triple digits. Casimir looks like a rife target for a forward air, back air, <gasps> smash attack. What? But he what? gets right up on the stage there, landing on 34 for that scoop and up smash to seal this one away as well. I, I am I am shocked at that conversion. That's so cool. We don't know what Casimir is going to do. They have the largest brain. They just go. They just run with it. It explodes options out of nowhere. It's just new stuff that we haven't seen at all. So it's so exciting. Like, there's always an opportunity for something whack. Right, exactly. We had to be surprised by, like, a new interaction. Like, what was that? It was, like, it wasn't Crash, but was it Pellet into, um, into Buzzsaw, into Up Smash? Or was it, like, I don't know. Wait, I, th I thought that was, like, just uh, either a get up run up for the up smash or it might have been actually a wave land to get right on him. I didn't I think there was a wave land involved. But there was yeah. like uh 34 was stuck oh, in oh, stuck in Histon. Yeah, and Histon okay. from the other projectile. And to catch all of it, there's so much that comes I, Exactly, out. right? Casimir's brain just goes faster than mine. <laughs> like I'll, I'll, just I will swoops. happily admit that. Like I don't have any pride problem on that. Yeah, that is some of these characters are just made for people that think very quickly. Pac-Man sometimes yeah. comes up. Setup characters. I know. Set up characters. Kind of a bigger brain. The cranium diff. <laughs> cranium diff. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's we a good can one. Use that more. I know. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice leaf blade there. Keeps 34 stuck on the platform there for a while, making it an opportunity for Casimir to drop back in for another hit. He doesn't get too much damage off of here, but it's a nice control of space. We haven't seen it come up, uh, but Mega Man's optimal, uh, what is it, jab block is with down air, and it is the funniest thing to look at, so I'm just been hoping silly. for it. I know, it's so silly. Oh, so good. 34 just been very aggressive about shutting down Casimir's recoveries. I think Casimir over there was uh, going high to try and avoid that potential for having to slowly drift into ledge, and I think that's kind of asking for a down air to land, which has been a big problem as well, but it's still, he, I mean, he was between a rock and a hard place on that stock. I always assume that those, uh, I guess the down throw, or the up smash up air up airs are mostly true, but Casimir's, I think it's his DI, his SDI, is so strong that he just misses out on getting comboed. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever I see oh. Cyber do it, it looks very true, but uh, Casimir is just not getting hit at all. Oh no! Oh, what a huge reversal there. Casimir looking really aggressive for forward airs, trying to find a spike, trying to find something that's just not going to uh, gonna knock out 34 right there, but they are all there for it, looking for their own move. Yeah, and, and that Casimir is really, really forced to run at 34 as much as possible. Does find a bit of an opening with a forward smash with 34, go into the slouch. <laughs> they are ready. Leans forward. <laughs> Leans forward aggressively. <laughs> I broke my pen. Oh no. Let's look at your nice pen too. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Pour one out. Put an F in chat. Treasure's pen in chat. <laughs>
the jab strings ah. go through, goes for a down smash. Kashmir caught lacking a little bit. Kneel, the knees are broken, ankles are shattered. Yeah, when's the last time he threw out a down smash? That one's pretty neat, but he doesn't quite get to get it there. It wasn't going to kill or anything, but it was going to be a nice little damage addition, just like that forward smash is right there. Not Ooh. quite off the ledge there, though. 34 gets lucky and gets to bounce right up off the platform. Man, 34 just cannot get back onto stage. Kashmir refusing to give a single inch to 34, finally landing. Finally uh, forced into giving that space by a purple pigment. But still, right, 34, we find themselves off ledge yet again. He's playing a little bit safe here, Kashmir, but could be putting 34 into the opposite direction. Therefore, is holding on to the stock really well. There's so much percentage that they get, so make it really easy to clean this up. If they aren't able to get the stock first, they've got a full stock to work with, which would should very confidently bring this up into that last game five for right now, though they're getting thrown. Trying to keep ahead of all these projectiles, the Casper just keeps throwing out these forward airs that are going to zone out quite a bit. Finally, it's a shield poke on the up smash. Poor Olimar. Poor Olimar shield. No unfortunate position. Head too big. Head too big. <laughs> Kashmir gets playing like this. I don't think that extra stock mattered too much for 34. And not able to land. Oh, no, it's special fall. Oh, my gosh. It only takes like 10% for it, though. That's super good for 34. Exactly what they want to see. They got a purple Pikmin here, giving them a nice aerial option. Not getting to quite land it here, though, as they lose that one. Just quick enough to pull out a red one. It doesn't quite kill, though. It doesn't have that added kill power of a red one. Yellow for the double tap. I feel you, Kashmir, so much. <laughs> the face that Kazmir made is like, ah, man, you got me. The down smash, they're quick. Yeah. Just like slam down on the C-stick. <laughs> <laughs> Panic option Emergency C mode C-stick <laughs> time. <laughs> Gotta make yeah. something happen here. Pikmin and with that kind of percentage, I mean, it's only a matter of time. You, you can just keep throwing those out and eventually Kazmir just can't evade them all. Yeah. It's a little bit unfortunate for Kazmir, but good for us. We wanted, we wanted oh, yeah, to have we the predictions be five, correct. Dude. Yeah. Can we see the stage? Oh, shoot. I didn't see the stage. I never see the stage. I'm blind to stages. You just don't look. No, I, I, I look away. I look at the player games mostly, actually. I see. Oh, it is time to see. Okay, more, more quick slider action. We'd love to see it. Love to see our boy. Then we go for a grab. A lot of early percentage, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Picking up that blue big man right there. Kazmir takes a second before engaging. Uh, He's got some more platforms to be dealing with here. It makes it a little bit easier to avoid the Pikmin. They have a pretty low arc. They don't go too far. So avoiding them just with jumping around and some, some nice aerial movement is actually definitely in the books for him. And it does force 34 to be up in the air themselves, right? Which is kind of better for Kashmir. Expe at least force 34 to spend some resources out. Okay, Solid. Tech is so tech nice. Still gets punished, though, with an up air. Almost loses his life, regardless of the tech. Holds the air dodge until right on top of 34 to get away from the up smash. But there's another smash attack waiting. 34 defending the ledge right there. And up he just keeps him el elusive. Just wants to stay away as much as possible. Away from my personal space. Well, you, got it. you really got it right now, especially pushing 160%. Jasmine's having a hard time finding his way in. Oh god, really hard time. Yeah, a little bit of an unfortunate position here for a Kashmir. Only able to do 50% for that first stock. Oof, a bit of a yikes going forward. Yeah, he is hurting right here, especially after losing that last game. He's on a bit of a downward tick. He's got to make this one count really quickly to bring this game back. Momentum is just not on his side. Uh, but the pressure sure is. 34 finding themselves in the corner. That up, down. Smash attack and smash attack up air? Ah, Ooh. it hurts. It hurts so much. 34 damage. I don't even think 34 had the, um, or 54 damage, Jesus. I don't yeah. think uh, 34 had the purple Pikmin activated for most of that either. So it could have been way more. Unless I'm wrong, I don't know. I believe you. I didn't see it. Yeah, Kevin takes a little bit of damage from his own cross crash bomber there, but it does dissuade 34 from camping up on the ledge. He builds himself some space, finds his forward air. He's looking for a repeat of that to try and steal this one away, and it comes to him just on a silver platter. Yeah, Kashmir finally able to close it out, and we've seen previously that as long as Kashmir is alive, uh, he's able to close it out, but he, he is not alive now. Yeah, that's so. a blast that's a off. A flaming one from the Red Pikmin getting another up smash. Actually, 34 just having a lot of luck just throwing those out right now because uh, Kashmir is floating around his shield all the time, so it gives them a lot of opportunities. 
Wow, it's just a lot of pressure. You'd think you'd be completely safe on a platform like that, and Casimir just proves that there's so much that he can do to you. Throw out the spike just to keep him honest, uh, but 34 able to find themselves back on stage. Ooh, 34 trading right through that buzzsaw, keeping the pressure on. This could be Kazmi's last stock of the entire tournament. If he's not able to keep up with 34 right here, who's keeping on the pressure with one game, last one on his back. This map is his, though, so it is helping him out. It's actually slowing things down quite a bit, but he's got to hold on to this last stock. He's nearly triple digits for a while. Yeah, he didn't opt to kill the purple Pikmin, and this is the second time he didn't do so. Instead, putting the pressure on the 34 themselves. He's got to take a lot of damage down there, but he finds his backer. That's exactly what he needs. He is just poked into the 100% range. He's got a buzzsaw in hand. He's trying to get aggressive on 34, but finds himself in their grasp. It's a scary spot to be at it. And 34 does it. There's a bit of a pop-off from 34. Really happy to have beaten out Casimir. That's actually a huge win here. Our first seed of the tournament. A player that he's, they've played against quite a bit or definitely been in the vicinity of. I think that brings That's that. a third set. Yeah, the third, third set. set. Yeah. It's quite a bit today, honestly. Uh, two of them haven't been in that rematch and the first one. 34 has secured their spot going into Skittles. This is a rental 34, please. Please be careful with the chairs. 